there, Lacey here with the Sweet Peach Staff. And do you love coffee creamer, but you hate all that refined sugar and added chemicals and all that fake stuff that you just don't need? I am right there with you. So today I'm gonna show you how to make homemade coffee creamer, plus an easy way to tweak it to make five different flavors. And it's so healthy, all whole ingredients and delicious. Yep, we're making some homemade coffee creamer, guys. So let's get started. Unfortunately, most store-bought coffee creamers are really bad for you. They contain high amounts of sugar, processed fats, and all sorts of fake chemicals that you just don't need in your coffee creamer. So that's why I wanted to make a really healthy option because I love coffee creamer and I didn't want to give it up. So our first step in making a coffee creamer is to make our own homemade condensed milk, which lucky for us is very easy and just requires a few simple ingredients. Start by adding some raisins to a mixing bowl and then cover that with your milk. You can use any milk you want. I prefer whole dairy milk or unsweetened coconut milk for my coffee creamers, but any milk will do. Then we're gonna place this into the fridge for at least five to six hours, if not overnight. And what this will do will allow the raisins to become really broken down and plump, and they're gonna let off a lot of their natural sweetness, and they're gonna actually kind of thicken the milk a little bit, which is a really cool thing. If you wanted to expedite this whole process, you could just cook this all very low on a simmer for about 30 minutes on the stove, and then that will have the same result. So if you can either cook it or put it in the fridge. Then remove the raisins from the milk using a fine mesh strainer, and then we're gonna keep that milk, and that is our condensed milk. So super easy, right? It's awesome. Now we're gonna take our condensed milk and we're gonna add it to a saucepan and heat it over medium heat. We're also gonna add in some more plain coconut milk pure maple syrup, and some arrowroot starch. Then we're gonna use a whisk and make sure it all gets mixed together. You're gonna notice that this mixture starts to thicken a little bit as it cooks for about six to eight minutes, and that's that arrowroot starch working. So definitely wait until it thickens, and then you can remove it from the heat. Then you add in your pure vanilla extract and stir it in so it's nicely mixed. Now this is our base homemade creamer recipe. You can use this just as it is in the fridge. You can just store it for five days in an airtight container, but I'm gonna show you how to kick this up a notch and have five different and exciting flavors to make. So let's start with those. Okay, so we're gonna start with a French vanilla creamer. I know many of you guys have told me how much you love French vanilla and it's so easy to do. You just take our basic creamer and then you add in additional vanilla extract. I know. So simple, but it's so good and it tastes just like French vanilla creamer. Then add your French vanilla creamer to an airtight container and place it in the fridge and it'll last for up to five days, being tasty French vanilla creamer for you. Next we're going to make a delicious peppermint mocha creamer, which is so good and so refreshing. So start with your basic creamer and then we're going to add in some unsweetened dark cocoa powder, a little bit of espresso powder, and some peppermint extract and then you just stir that together. Then just put it into an airtight container and then pop it in your fridge and you're ready to go with homemade peppermint mocha creamer. So good. Next we're gonna be making a hazelnut creamer which is one of my favorite types of creamers and it's so easy to do. So we're gonna take our base coffee creamer and then we're just gonna add in a little bit of hazelnut extract. It's that simple. If you can't find hazelnut extract, you could find almond extract. That's usually a little bit easier to find and that will work as well. It'll taste a little bit more amaretto-y, but it will still be a delicious creamer. Then stir that together and then pour that into your airtight container and now you have delicious hazelnut creamer, better than any store-bought, better for you and so, so easy. Next, we're gonna make a rich and smooth chocolate coffee creamer using just a few ingredients. So we're gonna grab our base coffee creamer recipe and we're gonna add in a little bit of cocoa powder followed by a little bit more vanilla extract. This is gonna make it kind of like a almost milk chocolatey flavor. And we're gonna stir that together and then pour that into our airtight container so it's ready to grab and then you will have delicious chocolate homemade creamer anytime you want. I think you're getting the idea on how easy these coffee creamers are to make. So now let's make a cinnamon coffee creamer that is just spicy and delicious and cinnamony and perfect for coffee. So start with your base homemade coffee creamer recipe and then we're gonna add in some ground cinnamon. You could use cinnamon extract instead of ground cinnamon if you don't want the little pieces of cinnamon in there, but personally it doesn't bother me and I like it, so either one of those is fine. And then we're gonna also add in a little bit more vanilla extract. Then we're gonna stir that all together and then pour it into our airtight container. 
place that into the fridge and store it for up to five days and you will have delicious, ready to have cinnamon coffee creamer to spice up your coffee and just enjoy life in the morning again with delicious creamer. There's just so many different ways that we can enjoy our coffee creamer and have it be healthy. Plus our homemade condensed milk is such a game changer. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoy these coffee creamer recipes. Let me know what your favorite one is or if I missed one and you want me to make another recipe video with more coffee creamers because I don't think we can have enough coffee creamer recipes in the world if, you're, if you agree with me. So make sure to like this video, subscribe so you never miss new recipe videos and check us out next week because I will see you next time. Bye-bye.